What's going on you guys? Kibby on a camera here and I just wanted to tell a story. I just from me and me and dad were talking on the phone about 15 minutes ago and he reminded me about this. So I had to tell the story about it. It's about the time dad destroyed what he got me for Christmas uh, on Christmas afternoon and he replaced it, you know, two days later. So currently to this day, dad is the type of destroyer who will destroy something but he'll immediately regret it. You know, when we were growing up, if he woke up and the house wasn't clean, he'd take a knife and he would cut the cord to the computer. Now get on the goddamn computer. 20 minutes later, he drives to Walmart and buys a new cord. You know, I, I guarantee he spent as much money on cords as he spent on cigarettes growing up. And it was expensive. He would destroy shit, regret it, replace it. And those were the three things that he would do. So it was Christmas morning. I don't remember the year. It was a it was a bunch of years ago. Dad got me a Nintendo 64, and he got me uh, WCW versus NWO Revenge. And at the time, there were no graphics better than this. I took one look at this game and went. <gasps> Yeah, it doesn't hold up so much anymore. So, I thought the game looked so amazing. And and we got it, and I plugged it in. Yeah! All right, Dad! This is the best! Well, cost you goddamn up. <laughs> I think it was like 200 bucks. I think he might have even gotten it off a pallet from Walmart. Like a friend of his would buy pallets and he would get shit cheap. Pretty sure he didn't pay full price. So I'm playing it. Day's going great. I'm playing it all day. You know, that's the plan. And all of a sudden, Dad comes up. All right, time to turn this shit off. I'm still playing it. Turn the goddamn shit off. And, of course, it's Christmas morning. It's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I just want to play my video game. I'm not going to turn it off. I didn't have a TV in my room. I had to play it in the living room. So I tell I looked at him. No. His face told the whole story. <laughs> no. I'll show you goddamn tell. He walks over, picks up the Nintendo 64, Rips it out of the side of the wall. He's carrying it with him. I'm going, Dad, stop! He opens the door, slams it down on the porch. That didn't do it. He goes inside. He start, I hear him fumbling for shit like he does. He, <laughs> so I go out. I grab the Nintendo 64. I put it under my arm, and I take off running. Boy, you better get your goddamn motherfucking ass out of my camera! He got over it. His anger calmed down, and he realized he does not want to destroy the Nintendo 64 anymore. I'm happy. I bring it back inside. Stupidly, I hook it back up to the television because I thought it's over with. Dad's calmed down. I can play my game still. So I put it back in, start playing it. I thought I said I turned this motherfucker off. But I want to keep playing it. God damn it. He still, he had the thing in his hand still. I don't know what it was at this point. It was something. One swipe, bow, 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 bow. That Nintendo 64 was a broken piece of shit. And those were sturdy systems. Those things should not have broken like it did, but it did. This fucking thing cracked. The game itself jammed into the console. It looked bad. It was fucking destroyed. Dad, yeah, you want to watch TV now? Oh, we're going to keep playing your game. That's something Dad used to do. He would break down what's happening and offer it with a smile. Well, goddamn, you want to take a look at my face and you won't get more shit destroyed. I cried, I kicked, I screamed, I did everything a kid does. I hate you! I hate you! How could you do this to me? Fuck you! I ended up just going to my room. I cried. Next day, Dad's trying to talk to me. What you doing today, bro? I was ignoring him. He destroyed the only good thing he'd gotten me in years. Fuck it. Then the next day comes. I open the bedroom door, and there's Dad, standing in front of me with a new Nintendo 64, a new copy of Revenge, and he puts it in me. <clears throat> now, motherfucker, don't fuck with me, because I will not replace it this time. By the way, your TV's in the back of the van. <laughs> 